to note on Bitcoin is that you had this trend line that started right at the FTX high. And I, I call this the FTX high just because right here is where the decline began when FTX began to be uncovered as a fraud, right? So, so what I was following was this trend line here and then this one to the downslope, right? And once we broke above it, that's really where you got this kind of short squeeze asset values again kind of this re-energizing of buying pressure in bitcoin but what i said earlier and we touched touched on it is look at where price stalled out right at that technical level so now you have a little bit of a pullback now for me this is a scenario i'm watching closely like overall my macro view is still that bitcoin likely hasn't bottomed my macro view the reason i think that is that i've never seen a bottom in an asset where there's so quickly so much bullishness. And I, I mean, I flip on Twitter and some of the influencers are, I mean, everyone is just so bullish so quickly. Usually if you go back yeah. to the 2009 lows in the stock market or the dot-com lows, the first 30% move up off of the lows, everyone is very scared. And you're not seeing yeah. that just yet, at least to me, I'm not seeing that panic. And so, I mean, there are things like that. The other thing that bothers me about Bitcoin potentially being already at a bottom and why I think it's not is that, the Fed stopped printing money and they're actually sucking money out of the system. Every previous bear market in Bitcoin saw an 80 to 85% decline with stimulus, with low interest rates, right? Since 2009, the Fed was always doing QE. So it's, it's hard for me to get my brain around how the Fed could stop QE, suck money out of the system, yet somehow the bear market in Bitcoin would be less. Can we expect Bitcoin to fall below $10,000 by 2023, or has it already hit bottom? Gareth Soloway does a technical and sentiment analysis of the Bitcoin price chart. Based on recent online polls, it appears that public opinion of Bitcoin has taken a decidedly bearish turn. Even Bitcoin has been on a downward trend over the past year. But are there any indications that the bear market and slump in Bitcoin might be ending soon? Can we interpret the pessimism as a buy signal for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies? He surveyed the data and elaborated on why we expect Bitcoin's value to rise in the year 2023. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video so that you don't miss anything at all. In today's video, another cryptocurrency and macroeconomic specialist, Richard Hart, will discuss his predictions for the future performance of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana in the year 2023. By the way, if you're interested in learning about DeFi and discovering innovative projects, you may want to check out our Master in DeFi course. It's designed to help you understand DeFi in a fun and easy way, with lessons that you can access immediately. Right now, we're offering a special launch discount of 90% off this course will also give you the skills you need to make the most of Pulse Chain when it's released. If you'd like to learn more, just click on the link in the description and become a true cryptopreneur. Now, without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. Gareth Soloway talks regarding the downturn of Bitcoin. Um, the other thing would be also the downtrend. I mean, you know, if you zoom out on this chart, this is the bounce everyone's getting excited about. Now, if it was all the way up here, you know, yes, at that point, there's a, there's a break in trend, but we still haven't had a major break in trend yet. And so I want to see price prove itself before I start getting. Right. Well, so for me, you know, there'll be buy levels. I mean, there'll be a swing trade, quick swing trade. If we pull back, let's see here. Um, let's say, let's say Bitcoin dumps back to about 18,500. I could play that for a quick bounce. Um, then you have this level here and eventually double bottom. These are just quick little trading opportunities, but ultimately my yeah. guess is eventually we do go down and make new lows. It concerns me a little that your, uh, your poll is favoring that because <laughs> I usually like to be counter, you know, the public yes. and stuff, but I'm just going to chalk it up to your, your followers are much wiser than the general public. Bitcoin resistance and pattern, as discussed by Gareth Soloway. No, no, one of the things I would say to you too is that just like you said before, you have to be ready to pivot. And so one of the things a good trader is doing is watching what type of pattern formation is created off of this. So, so for instance, yeah, yeah. I'm keeping a very close eye on whether or not, and let me put this in here, um, parallel channel, right? Like, is this the beginning 
of bullish consolidation. Like if we stay inside of this consolidation, let's say for another week or two, then honestly, I would agree yes. with you. Then that's the chart telling you it's going to go higher. And so yes, right now I'm into saying, okay, we haven't, we don't have a bull flag yet, so we could pull back, but that may change. And I may say, okay, time to hop along here for a move up to, you know, next resistance would be 22.5. Then the big one is gonna be around 25,000. Gareth shares the downside target for Bitcoin. Yeah, so so that comes the, the 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 nine to ten k target comes from my thought of comparing FTX to the Lehman Brothers collapse. Uh, a lot of similarities. Uh -huh. One was a bank, one was an exchange, but they both house money. Um, and we saw that we saw that in two thousand and eight, when Lehman Brothers collapsed, the stock market had about six mon months left of downside to it and about a forty five percent drop. So from where FTX began to collapse, if you subtract about forty five percent off, you get right around that. $10,000, $9,000 level. In addition, I think that that would be a max pain level that if we broke 10K, a lot of kind of these hodlers, these Bitcoin maxis, they would get to that max pain where they would potentially throw in the towel. And I and usually bear markets, they, they get people, the majority of these people to kind of throw in the towel. And so that to me is a max pain point that I think would be also interesting. But, um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think that overall that would also put us in the range of you know, being 80 to 85 percent off of the all time highs that match up with previous cycles. Here, Richard Hart discusses the topic of pivot and offers his perspective on it. You gotta sell. Every other time crypto has bottomed, it's been in a quantitative easing environment. Crypto's never it's bottomed in a quantitative tiding. tiding environment before. Yeah. So now look, crypto will bottom first, in my opinion. But until he pivots and stops raising the rates, and right. then we get the actual market crash. So usually people think the pivot saves you. Usually, historically, the pivot it is kills then followed you. by the real crash. Yeah, it kills you. And then you get your bottom six months, eight months later, mm -hmm. and then you go up. So yep. now look, this is, this is uncharted territory, right? So look, if there wasn't so many coins ready to get sold, I would feel better about calling a crypto bottom. But we haven't hit my price targets. We have barely run, you know, we just basically finished up a year of bear from the double top. All right. And uh, the, the macro environment is that they're going to keep raising rates, which is going to keep hurting the prices of everything. The 2023 outlook for Bitcoin and Ethereum, as discussed by Richard Hart. Okay. I mean, technically right. an 85% drop from 69 KA is 10,350. Yeah. What this about the real math? But yeah. in case people front run my calls, I want to give them a little extra leeway and just give it 11K. Yeah. 11K and what pray. What's ETH <clears throat> for 20? I mean, ETH already did an 85% drop. Yeah. So that's not an exciting call anymore, is it? So if it went back down to 880, that's an 85% drop. Yeah. Uh, so what's a more exciting call, 600, 400? I mean, sure. technically, it's last cycle, it did a 95% drop. It really could do it again. And a 95% drop off of uh, 5K is 250. Yeah. So, you could see so if it did what it if it does this cycle what it did last cycle, you could see two hundred fifty dollars here, so, does which Solana is only a sixty six percent drop. I think Solana, Solana make it through this run. Yeah, this, it'll this survive, run. but like the network's down all the time, and it's hard to spool right. up stuff on. We talk about that. And FTX going to gonna dump it into oblivion. So like, oh, yeah. and FTX just like stole all their stable coins off their network or something. <laughs> Like everyone that was bridging into that network was bridging using FTX bridge or something. And like, yeah. What are your thoughts regarding this professional advice provided by these experts? Tell us in the comments. We hope we were able to provide some value and helped you to move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur and get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.